Hello friends, this is part 1 of uh, Solve Paper DAC 1 Classical Dynamics of 5th Semester Dibrugger University. Okay, so 2021, we have already solved uh, 2022, so let us solve 2021. So this is DAC Paper part 1. So in this video, we are going to solve the multiple questions and remaining questions will be solved in the next part. Before we start, please subscribe the channel and hit the thumbs up button. Also share with your friends, it's permitted to be a new content for you. And if you want to follow me on Insta, this is my Insta ID. Oza Likajit, O Z H A, Oza Likajit, L A K H Y A Z I T, one twenty three. This is Oza Likajit, one twenty three. This is my Insta ID. You can follow me on. Insta. So here is the first question: A particle of mass m moves along a straight line. So this is the particle of mass m. It moves along a straight line. Okay, and it attached towards a point. It is attached. It uh, attached towards a point. This is the point on the line. It is attached with this, okay, and the force between these two is uh, proportional to the, you know, distance. That means uh, distance along this axis means you can set this placement, okay, um, right. So, and uh, we need to find the Lagrangian of this system. So here in this case, so kinetic energy will be half m v square v is v is x dot that means dx by dt here answer is given in terms of v that's why i i am writing here v square and the potential energy will be given by one by half k x square k is the spring constant right so lagrangian is t minus v so if you use this value then you're gonna get this answer right so this is the correct answer now Ah, let me clean this so what is the next question here you can see the rest mass of an uh, electron is m naught rest mass is m naught this is the rest mass and what will be the mass with uh, when it moves with this velocity 0 point 0 point 6 c this is if this is the velocity okay then what will be its uh, mass we know relativistic mass m is given by m naught by root over 1 minus v square by c square okay so if we use this formula then m naught 1 uh, root over 1 minus v square is 0 0.6 whole square divide uh, 6 c whole square actually so let me write 0 0.6 square into c square okay divided by we have c square c square c square gone so what we can have m is equal to m naught by root over 1 minus so 0 0.6 square means 0 0.36 right and if you subtract these two m sorry m naught by 1 minus 0 0.36 is 0 0.64 and uh, that's going to be equal to just wait m naught by 0 0.8 0 0.8 means you can say uh, here so if you remove the decimal here you can write uh, 10 uh, you can write 10 and uh, 2 times of 4 and 2 times of 5 so here we're gonna get 5 by 4 m naught so here is the correct answer right this 2 is the correct answer hope you have understood this now next the body question. which charge q starts from rest and acquire a velocity 0 0.5 c then what is the new charge on it so you know this charge uh, this you know charge of the body will remain same it doesn't depend on this velocity okay so it's going to be q this is the answer then phi is the scalar potential a is the vector potential then the total potential energy of a charged particle is uh, in any electromagnetic field is given by uh, this q phi q by c a dot v okay so this is the answer and uh, for a linear oscillatory system the total uh, energy is proportional to total energy is proportional to that should be square of the amplitude okay square of the amplitude this is the answer so hope you have understood this thank you for watching see you in the next video we're going to solve uh, start solving from question number two in the next video okay so stay connected see you in the next video bye bye